How to analyze Likert scale surveys using moderation test. So in this tutorial, we have the IV or the independent variable or construct. So it consists of eight items. We can just select all of them and we can drag and drop them here and click enter. So here we can just uh, uh, turn the indicators to the left or align them to the left and go to the DV or the dependent variable. So again, we can just select the uh, indicators and drag and drop them here and click enter. And then we can align these like by clicking select and so that we can align them this way. After that, we need to add the moderator variable, which is the W. So we can select these items, drag and drop them here and click enter. So now let's start connecting the variables. So I'm going to connect the IV to the DV and the W with the DV and go to the moderating effect. And then I will just tick an arrow from the W to this arrow. So here, uh, in let's say it's smart PLS version 3, you need to click here and then you need to add the DV or the moderator or interaction. But with the new version, you don't need to do this. So you simply do it like this and then you click calculate, run, bootstrapping or PLSM. So it's better to use bootstrapping at 5000 uh, subsamples. Two tail in case you know the direction of the uh, hypothesis or relationships and click start calculation. So here they are. It seems that there is a statistically significant moderation effect. As you can see, it is positive, although it's very small positive and statistically significant. So there is a statistically significant direct impact of IV on DV, which is 46.4%. And then we have a statistically significant moderation impact of 0 0.08, which is 0.8 or 8.2%, which is statistically significant at the 0 0.04 level. As can be seen by the p-value, again, we have this direct relationship or direct impact of the moderator on the dependent variable. So this is the uh, relationship or the moderation test in the newest version of Smart PLS. So there are also high order and low order constructs along with the reflective and formative measurement models that can be discussed at higher or advanced level and see you soon.